some vine plants. Yep. This is the food forest. Yep. Pear tree did good this year. Everything's doing pretty good. Banana tree lived. <laughs> That's great. Kiwi in the tree. That's all right, eh? Kiwi in the fig tree. See that? That's cool, eh? Another fig. Kiwi. Some Don Juans. They're not open yet, but almost. Look at that, eh? Well, I haven't made a video for a while, so. I haven't gone live for a while. Been growing a lot of food, rows and rows of food. These are my latest favorite things to do is a salad in a bucket. And this is, this is fennel Greek. And it's for men, for their testosterone. Mm-hmm, mm, -hmm. mm. That's very good. This is a hibiscus, it's not opened yet. Baby apple tree, loquat bush, strawberries. <laughs> They're blooming. And Chinese hot cabbage. Some poppies. Mm hmm. Got a few of those around. No. Yep. Some horseradish there. Put in a tomato garden in the food forest. This is it here where the old greenhouse used to be. There we go. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at all the greens. Yep. A lot of greens. Beets are really huge, eh? Arugula. A rows of arugula. Rows of beets here. Yep. Rows, arugula. Here's arugula, lettuce. Spinach, several kinds of spinach, and they're quite large now. Yep. Well, got some dino kale, some rows of this, rows of that. Yep. It's fun growing things. Well. This is a strawberry patch I put in. <clears throat> wow, raspberry bush down on the ground. I love to get that. Something blew over here from the neighbors. It was wind last night. Here's my salad gardens. Yeah, in each bucket there's like lettuce, fava bean, you know, that kind of thing. A tomato, um, Minnesota midget cantaloupe there with some salad greens, some carrots, but these are just like a salad and you, you give them to friends and they can just go have a salad whenever they want. Figs are out now. Getting the tree leaves on. Some lemon balm. Yep. Down here, I've uh, planted a carpet 
of uh, fennel creek. You see that? It's like millions and millions of little fennel creeks. And they taste good. Here we go. We got some horseradish here, some garlic bed here. And this is all food. And here's some uh, rhubarb. Big real barb. Yep. But this is all fennel Greek. Look, it's time to harvest it. It's expensive to buy. But I kept putting in like rows and rows of it. And here's a here's a whole bed of fennel Greek here, see? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's all veggies. And my peas are here. Lots of peas this year. But um, this tree fell over yesterday and I was throwing anything I could on it. Oh, you can see it's really, it's in rough shape. So I've put this on the root system to hold it up. Oh, and my butterfly house fell down. But here's an area I just cleared out. And yeah. Look at that, hey? Wow, it really uh, it was windy. Look at all the stuff on the trail. Huh? Wow. Yep. Look at that, eh? All the way around. It's quite the forest. Oh, a grapevine with grapes, little baby grapes. With little baby grapes. Huh. Thimbleberry. Oh, looks like we've lost another tree. The wind has taken one out. Look at this, just tore it right out of the ground. Wow. Look at that, hey? It just tore it right out of the ground. Oh, that's amazing. That's a nice Italian plum too. Better put that back in the ground right away. Well, folks, this is how Jones I have to go. I have work to do. Look at that, trees down. Ripped it right out of the plum tree. That's amazing. It was that wind yesterday. It was like 120 miles an hour gust or something. Yeah, look at that. I can't believe it. I, I just, I can't believe it. I'm going to get the water on it right away. Bye, folks. Everybody have a great day. Peace and love.